Hello, I'm here today with Peter Clausey of GTA Resources. How are you today, Peter? I'm very well, thanks for having me back. Perfect, we love to have you back and always excited to hear an update on GTA. Um, I know your last interview you had with us, we discussed the shareholder exemption agreement. I, correct me if I'm wrong on that. I think I may have- We'll, we'll send you back to law school. It's the exempt shareholder, uh, existing shareholder exempt exemption. financing. Exactly. And what, what's happened with that? Can you give us an update? Sure, that was a form of crowdfunding that the Ontario Securities Commission and other securities commissions brought in. The theory was if you own part of the company already, you should be able to buy more shares without a full prospectus, but not too much more. Mm -hmm. So we took advantage of the existing shareholder exempt financing. Through that, we raised over $400,000 for GTA resources. Uh, we had told everybody that the use of proceeds would be to drill Big Duck Lake which is a historic gold and polymetallic uh, property in Hemlo. On that note, you had some information come out this week um, on Big Dog Lake. Tell us a little bit more about that. Well, we raised the money by telling investors and shareholders, we will drill at Big Dog Lake. Here's the historic information that we have. This is where we're going to drill. Investors said, good, do that. Raised over $400,000, went into the field, ran an efficient program, and the results came back and we did exactly what we said we would do. We proved up the historic mineralization at one of the showings. Mm -hmm. uh, their gold was returned in every hole. All four holes hit the gold zone. And it's strongly encouraging numbers. And when do you think we'll hear more on this project or any updates? We, one of the samples ran over detection limits. So that's back in the lab. So we can ascertain the exact gold value out of that one sample. Then our technical team will compile all the data. We'll probably be back, I would guess, into May or June uh, for a follow-up program, not drilling right away, but to do more surface work, possibly some IP, maybe a mag survey, but we will probably be drilling there in late summer, early fall. And why should shareholders be investing in GTA right now? Um, a recent report was put out by one of the research firms that looked at proven ounces in the ground versus market capitalization. Their conclusion was GTA Resources was the cheapest stock on the stock exchange with that ratio. Because we have proven ounces at North Shore and the price of the, uh, of the uh, stock had drifted. Mm -hmm. So it's an, in our opinion, it's an undervalued gold company with proven gold in the ground and a highly prospective other property in Hemlo. And do you have anything that we should expect to be hearing in 2018 from GTA that we should keep our eyes and ears open for? Well, we're always looking to acquire new projects that make sense. Uh, the mining market is turning, but it hasn't turned yet. There are still M&A opportunities out there, and we will be back at Big Duck Lake doing work. At North Shore, we're carrying out engineering just to figure out how we can put those million ounces into production. Well, thanks for joining us today, Peter. And for those of you at home watching this interview, please feel free to leave your comments below, ask us any questions, and the next time that Peter's in, we'll follow up with him.